once again to health tutorial hope you are watching my videos so now from today i am going to start the power electronics series so first topic is ideal switch so i'm sure that you people know about and heard about ideal switch when you are started your power electronic course in your undergraduate right so what is ideal switch so its name itself is telling that ideal switch is ideal switch it means there will be no limitations of consuming power while conducting there will be no limit of current carrying when it is in the on condition and there will be no leakage current when it will be in off condition okay so this is the basic characteristics of an ideal switch but this is very important in analyzing and understanding while we are designing any practical switch so it is very important to know and study about ideal switch and that is the reason why in every power electronics books and even your teacher in your undergraduate school very first used to teach about ideal switch okay so this is one is representing an ideal switch and this one is representing an a, a practical switch okay so from this you can understand what is the difference between ideal switch and the practical switch so now we will see some basic characteristics of an ideal switch so instantaneous operation that means it should not take any time when it get conducted okay means from on state to off state or off state to on state this transition time should be zero and the zero resistance means when the switch is closed it should not consume any power should not drop any power voltage okay that's why it should offer zero resistance and infinite resistance infinite resistance means when the switch is in off condition it's open it should offer infinite resistance so that it can uh, it, it 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 do not allow any leakage current okay means it completely isolating the two diodes two sides of the circuit okay so this is about the very basic things of an ideal switch and i am sure that you people know about this so now i am going to start my matlab and there we will verify its characteristics so just i am going to my matlab it is opened and just i will click in the simul link and i will create one blank model now it is open and just i will go to library okay and very very first thing which i want to take from this is the sinks okay from the sinks i will take or add okay scope one scope then me i need no nothing i need so now i will go to the sim escape okay here is the sim escape and inside this sim escape here is the electrical okay and inside the electrical here is the specialized power electronics right so from this we will first add this power we block it is very important you know because whenever we will work with power we is very important when we are uh, working with a specialized power system blocks okay that's why this power we block is very important so now next we will click inside the specialized power system here is the power electronics okay from this power electronics i will take one 
ideal switch so here is the ideal switch i will add it then i need sources like some signal generator oh no i will not take it passive components i will require okay so this one then next i need one sources here is the sources you can have it inside this one okay i will take one ac source one dc source okay i need voltage sensors like current measurement voltage measurement also i will require okay and uh, yeah that's enough i think let go to the single end window and make the connection so just follow my video and try to make this i will first uncomment this ac source because i'm not going to use okay at the very first use of this video so now here i will put it i will rotate it by pressing ctrl r okay and this power we i will keep here so now what is the value of this one it is 100 volt if you want to change you can change but initially i will keep it and if you want to study about this so just click on the help and read about it so now i will make this connection and here i will connect it and i will connect it here but now i want to connect this emitter so i need to delete it and reconnect it and here I will copy and paste it because two voltmeter I will require. So just connect it to major voltage across the resistor and make this RLC branch into R load and give the value here 10. Okay, and now bring it here and rotate it by control R and control I okay. and just put here make the connection like this so that we can measure the voltage across this ideal switch okay so now i will just want to see inside this what are the things present so if you double click on this so you can see here as an internal resistance present that is very small okay in the matlab we cannot go with uh, zero resistance that's why at least we have to give a very small resistance so that's why 0 0.001 we have to give however this one we should put in finite uh, then only we can consider that there is no snubber circuit and just apply and click ok so you can see this one is completely looks like an ideal switch also i don't want to have this major force so just uncheck okay now to get pulses here because we have to make for sometimes it is on and sometimes off so for that we require one pulse okay so for that we have to go to the library and inside the library here is the power electronics and uh, just the specialized here is the control and inside this control i think sorry inside the power electronics yes i think here it will be the pulse generator i need okay by the way i'm not getting so i think i have to search it here I will search pulse generator 
structure okay and we will get here so it is here okay so this pulse generator we will require so try to understand it how i'm going to set this pulse generator value so suppose this is the amplitude one is enough here is the 10 second right and i'm going to put the duty cycle for 50 second that means for 50 means for first 10 okay so period is 10 so that means for five seconds it will be on and for the next five seconds it will be off okay so just apply and click on okay so now this is the scope and we have to we have to make the connection okay and here is voltage and here is the voltage across the resistor okay now double click on it and go here and just here click and make it like this okay now I want to run the simulation okay I will run this simulation and here I will take it 30 second okay for better visualization so now just I'm going to click on the run button so now it is started okay running finished so you can see here each and everything you can observe so this is the current right first one is the current and the second one is voltage across the ideal switch and this is the voltage across the resistor so voltage across the resistor will be 100 because resistor is connected in parallel with the voltage source right so and when this is the ideal switch so when it will be conducting here the voltage should be zero and when this one is non-conducting voltage should be high so that things is happening here so here is the current 10 because here is the resistor 10 and here is the voltage 100 so 100 divided by 10 is equal to 10 so it will get 10 ampere so you can see that 10 ampere current is flowing through the uh, ideal switch and here is the voltage 0 right so now I will zoom it and I will try to look inside this that whether it is ideal or not so you can see up to this it is ideal okay still it is ideal because it is the transition is happening okay from on state to off state right so now I am zooming again still it is ideal okay still it is ideal again I am zooming again i'm zooming okay but now this time you can observe that it is not an ideal switch okay why because we have taken a very small on state resistance that is 0 0.001 and because of this reason okay you can say that when we are zooming in depth we can see when the current is going down okay this voltage is increasing so there is small non-linear transition okay but by the way if it was a complete ideal switch then we will not have it to see this one because here should be an, a straight line okay so this is how we can verify okay so now what I will do so now I want to use here one uh, inductive load okay so for that uh, what we have to do here just uh, click on this and change it into RL load and suppose it is I'm going to take 100 e power minus 3 and just apply and try to run it mm -hmm. 
so you can see that here is some problem okay so how we will remove this problem so for that what we have to do that uh, you know there is uh, energy storing element okay because of this inductor and uh, you know that inductor stores energy and uh, that stored energy should be dissipated when this switch will be off okay so for that reason we have to connect here one ideal diode so for that we have to go to the library and from the library we have to bring one ideal diode so that is available on the power electronics okay, where we have uh, the ideal switch okay so just connect it and now make it ideal this is to two. so zero and here infinite resistance and this one should be zero and click apply okay again double click on this and remove this measurement board okay now rotate it by clicking ctrl r and connect it here right now i want to go to this one to change in the pulse so now we will make it into 20 e4 minus 3 okay and just apply click ok and here we just take point 0.1 okay so that it will visualize better waveform so now click on the run and see the waveforms so you can see that here is a change in the current waveform there is no change in the voltage waveform okay but there is change in the current waveform because inductor do not allow sudden change in the current right that's why okay even though it is an ideal switch this current is not getting instantaneously changed it is changing slowly because inductor is a passive element which do not allow sudden change in current so hope you uh, understood about this now what i will do i will replace this one with the ac source right so where is the library from the library we will take the ac source Here is the sources so from the sources i will take my as a source okay and now i will remove this one and i will connect this one and i will give the value here 50 hertz okay now i will open it so now you can see the waveform okay this is the waveform when the inductor is in connection okay but now if we will remove the inductor and what will be the value so as we are removing this inductor means we are only going to use the resistive load that means this will not require okay so remove it and run it so now you can see the waveform okay this is the waveform which is quite different than the previous one when we have used inductive load. So in this way you can verify okay, the characteristics of an ideal switch. So thank you and stay tuned.